In this video, we're going to take a look at the limits when you're given a graph such as this one. And let's take a look at the first one, see if you can do these on your own, and we'll go through them. Number one, the limit as x approaches negative 5 of this function f of x. So when we look at negative 5 right here on our graph, you can see when you're approaching the graph from the left side, and you can see when you're approaching that negative 5 from the right side, and you can see the one is going down towards negative infinity, the other side is going up towards positive infinity. You can see that there's like this infinite gap here, this uh, what they call a non-removable uh, discontinuity. It's basically an infinite discontinuity. So here we're going to say does not exist. And if you want to say more, you can say uh, it's an infinite uh, discontinuity or it's unbounded. One of those would be fine. For number two, the limit uh, as x approaches negative 5 from the, see this little minus sign? That means from the left. So when we're approaching negative 5 here from the left side, what are the y values getting closer and closer to? So when you see that f of x, think about what is the y getting closer to? The y values you can see are going down towards negative infinity. Okay, for number three, we've got the limit as x approaches negative 5, and you see that little plus sign? That's from the positive side, from the right side. So we're approaching negative 5, but here we're approaching from the right, and you can see that the y values are going up, up, up towards positive infinity. Okay, but notice when you approach from the right and from the left, since you're approaching two different values, that's why we just said that when you were just approaching negative 5, that's why the limit didn't exist because the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit didn't match. They weren't the same. So for number four, the limit as x approaches infinity uh, of f of x. So you can see here as we go to the right, okay, as x is getting larger and larger, as we're approaching positive infinity, what happens to the y values? Well, you can see they're going down, 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 down towards negative infinity. Okay, and for number five, the limit as x approaches negative infinity, okay? So you can see here when we're approaching the left side of the graph, so as x is getting smaller and smaller, as it's approaching negative infinity, what happens to the y values? We can see it's going up, 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 but it starts to become almost like a horizontal line. It's approaching this dashed or dotted line, and it looks like that y value is at positive one, so you can see that the limit here is going to be positive one. Okay, for number six, the limit as x approaches negative 4 of the function. Okay, where's negative 4? Right here. As you're approaching from the left, it looks like you're getting closer to this open circle here, which is at a y value of 1. And the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right side, okay, so when you're going this direction, you can see it's also approaching that same hole, which has a y value of 1. Now, when you're talking about limits, you're getting closer and closer, uh, but you don't actually reach negative 4. So if they asked us what is f of negative 4, that would be doesn't exist because there's not a point there. But the limit as x approaches negative 4, since we're approaching the same y value from both sides of positive 1, that's our limit. For number 7, what's the limit as x approaches 0? Okay, now you can see here, I've tried to illustrate this uh, by hand, but you can see when you're approaching 0 from the left side, when you're approaching 0 from the right side, do you see how it's bouncing back and forth between negative 2 and positive 2, okay? Even if you were to zoom in on this, let's say this was on a graphing calculator, you would still see that like a ricochet effect where it's bouncing back and forth between negative 2 and positive 2. So it's not approaching, you know, one constant value. So that means this is going to be uh, does not exist. And you could say that that's oscillating, okay, oscillating. So that limit doesn't exist. Number 8, the limit as x approaches negative 3 of the function. Okay, so where's negative 3? It's right here. Okay, and notice when you're approaching negative 3 from the left, it looks like you're getting closer to 0. And as you're approaching negative 3 from the right side, you're getting closer to negative 1. So it looks like there's not a limit here since you're approaching two different y values as you get closer to x equals negative 3. This is also going to be does not exist. And this, if you want to be more specific, this is what's called a, a non-removable discontinuity, meaning we just can't put like a point right there and fill that hole and make it continuous. It's, you know, one point's not going to be enough to bridge that gap. We call this a jump discontinuity, okay? Uh, so you can either say does not exist, or if you want to say a little bit more jump discontinuity. For number 9, the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left. Okay, so here we're approaching negative 3, but from the left side, you can see we're getting closer to a y value of 0. And the limit as x approaches negative 3 from this, see this plus sign from the positive or the right side? You can see you're getting closer and closer to this y value here of negative 1. 
And that's why we said that it didn't exist for number eight because they were approaching two different y values. And then the last question, number 11, the limit as x approaches two of the function. Okay, so here is x is approaching two. When you're approaching from the left side, you're approaching from the right side, they're both approaching that same y value of zero. So you can see there's really no gap here, there's no jump, there's no missing point. It's actually just continuous at two, and you can see the, the limit is as you approach two from the left side and the right side is the same, and that y value, remember when you think of f of x, think of what the y value is, that y value is zero, and you got it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Check out more of my videos on my Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.